as a blogger for The Stir, you've seen that there are a very diverse group of readers that we have. Tell me kind of what the response has been like, what surprised you about writing for The Stir, um, just the things that have stood out to you in that time. Well, I think um, anyone that's read my comment section knows I do get a lot of interesting comments. One thing that has surprised me is the amount of support I get in the comments. Um, I have a lot of really loyal defenders and I want all of them to know that I really appreciate it when they jump in and they say, hey, you know, Jenny did address this issue or no, you're putting words in her mouth or just saying, okay, well, stop attacking her because I do get a lot of those just name calling and it's, it's uncalled for and anyway, I just want the people that will jump in and defend me to know that I really do appreciate them. And what do you have to say to, to naysayers because it's not just a problem that you have, it's a problem that a lot of women have and it's a reason why a lot of moms don't want to talk about politics is they don't want to invite that kind of attack on them. Oh my goodness, okay, well I will tell you a story about the very first hate comment I got on my blog. I cried for three days maybe. I thought it was awful. I thought it was horrible. I felt yucky inside. I wanted to quit. I thought I'm not ever doing this again. If I'm going to write about politics and have people hate me for it, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Mascara running down my face. And it all of a sudden occurred to me, if I stop, they win. And I'm a really competitive person by nature. So I thought, you know what? Every time I get a comment that's negative and I don't stop, I'm winning. That's a really great way to look at it. How do you think that moms can keep the tone civil and set the standard? I mean, we're trying to model this behavior for our children. Do you think that they should remember that when they're reading about politics, commenting about politics? I do, and I also would encourage all my moms to keep an open mind and to really listen to what your neighbors say. Because if you have this closed mind mentality, I know when you're talking about politics, and I see it, a lot of people have this close mine and they're waiting for you to stop talking so that they can espouse their opinion. When if you took the time to really listen to what people have to say and maybe ask them questions, say, well, why do you believe that? Or how do you think that's going to make life better? And then listen to them and engage them in a civil dialogue. And even if you don't end up agreeing, you can say, well, you know, at least I understand a little bit better about where you're coming from.